Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here and welcome, welcome to another video. So we got a few more um, details about um, the Batwoman that drowned. So we're going to get her um, as a gold character first of all, because that's going to be kind of the most important information that we can discern out of this. And this is both good news and bad news. Good news is that you're eventually going to be able to unlock her easily enough, most likely through Arena Invasion or Challenge or an Arena Season. Though with all the gold, ca gold characters they released recently, they seem uh, to... Um, Put them in arena season invasion though it might be different because vixen for example got her challenge so eventually you're going to get her without spending any money or without spending too many gems and she'll most likely eventually have her chest that has an eight percent chance to get 160 shards for her as it was with all the gold characters Bad news in that regard is that she's most likely going to be uh, an Injustice to Mobile Pass character, meaning that uh, you'll have to buy the pass to get early access to her, and the people who don't buy the pass are going to have to wait until the release, and then one more month before she will get put in the chests, and then in arena seasons or challenges or whatever she will come from. And the fact that she synergizes with uh, Batman who laughs uh, is a little bit weird because he himself does not provide any buffs to the team. And uh, Batman who laughs is in a very weird situation where he's a very very good character but I don't really see how he could get buffed by other characters because the main thing that he does is percentage health damage and there's very very few ways to increase that. For Batman who laughs currently there is no way to increase that and I doubt that she will be able to do that. So we see that uh, she, she gained the ability to control water and heal faster. Uh, the control water side of things is kind of relevant because that just means you'll have water-like specials heal faster. I don't know about that, she might be herself a healing base character. I don't care about that too much, but if she could heal her teammates that would be at least something good enough for Batman who laughs if there are other synergies to go along with it because some of uh, Batman who laughs biggest weakness is that he's unable to heal himself like so many other characters that are like him uh, and she'll perform dark art of hypnosis to corrupt her enemies okay so if she's going to be one of those characters that takes control of the enemy Wow, that's so fun and original 49 champions right now, but that's going to be completely useless for raids and soul raids. But it says corrupts the enemies, so maybe she'll be able to inflict some debuffs on the enemies, making them take more damage, maybe making them take more percentage health damage. So yeah, this could go very bad or very good. This is all the informations that we have, and based on this information, I, I can't tell you anything for sure than the fact that she's gonna be a gold character. But if she's going to buff Battle Laughs in any way, shape, or form, it's to the extent that I don't really care how much she buffs him. Uh, unless it's something to the level of Raven, for Battle Laughs specifically, is going to be irrelevant unless she buffs the percentage health damage, because he doesn't do much other than that. Also, at the same time, uh, it says uh, it's story-wise that she killed uh, all the metahumans before, because in that reality, Catwoman was a guy because she's a female. All the roles are reversed, basically. There's Aqua Woman and stuff like that, but yeah, uh, Cat Catman was killed by metahumans, and she just killed all all the metahumans. Yeah, that's 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 basically a story. So she might provide some buff against metahuman characters. If there's a heavy enough increase in damage, that would be interesting because she might be a support character that you purposefully put in specific teams when you're fighting specifically metahuman bosses. But yeah, other than that, that's all I got uh, for this video. I thought this was uh, some nice uh, bit of information uh, worth discussing. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.